I'm back with more art at home, guys. Um, I've got a fun project for you. It involves bubbles. And if you have younger brothers or sisters at home, this is a really super fun thing that they can do with you. Um, so, um, bubble painting. Let's get started. So what do you need to get started? First of all, you are going to need some containers. Um, these are just glass mixing bowls, but anything works. Um, a paintbrush, or if you don't have a paintbrush, a spoon, something that you're going to mix with. You need some dish soap, um, colored, uncolored, any brand works, just something that your mom or dad or grandma would have at the sink to wash dishes with. Um, and then I'm using food coloring to add color to my food. You could also add a little bit of watercolor paint. Um, you are going to need some water and some paper. So to get started, what you're going to do first is take one of your bowls and you're going to add just a little bit of dish soap in the bottom. Okay? Um, not a lot. Just a little bit, enough to make a little bit of bubbles. You're going to take some of your water and you're going to pour some right in there like that. Okay? Now you want to take your paintbrush or your spoon that you had and sort of mix it up. Don't mix too, too much. You don't want it to be spilling everywhere. Just enough to sort of break up the soap a little bit and get it a little bit bubbly. Okay? You just sort of mixing it in there. Okay? Okay. Um, then you're going to pick your color choice. I'm going to start with, I think, like a blue. You could also write, um, mix some of your colors together if you don't want just one solid color. Okay, so I'm just going to add a few drops of my food coloring in there to give my soapy water some color. Okay, again with my paintbrush, give it a mix. Okay, so let's say I wanted some green, I could add a little bit of my yellow food coloring in there. If you wanted some purple, you could add a little bit of red, etc. Okay, so you can mix your own colors or just use it like that. So I have mixed up three different colors. I mixed up some blue, I mixed up some purple, I mixed up some green. And now the fun part is you're gonna need a straw and you're gonna blow bubbles into your mix, okay? And then when you're done blowing your bubbles and they're all sort of bubbly at the top, you're gonna take your piece of paper and you're gonna just sort of press it right into your bubbles. I'm gonna have one of my kids help me out and demo for you guys, ready? So what we're going to do is we're going to blow through these straws to make a lot of bubbles in there. Now you don't want to drink your bubbly juice, so make sure you're not sucking it up into your mouth. This is Amelia, everybody. Say hi. Hi. She's going to blow through that straw to make some bubbles. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, try. Nice bubbles, Amelia. Okay, get one more. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper and you're going to smush it right on top of those bubbles. Smush them. There you go. What did you get? Nothing yet? Okay, got to keep blowing. Make sure you got some big bubbles there. And I'm going to try this one. You try. Whoa, I got tons of bubbles. Are you ready? I'm going to try to smush mine now too. Whoop! Uh -oh. Okay. You should be getting some bubbles on your paper. It might take a little while to get some of the color on there. Now, if you don't have a straw or you're having trouble, you can also take your paintbrush or your spoon or whatever it is that you mixed up yours with, and you can sort of just swish it, swish it, swish it, swish it around until you get a lot of nice color there in your bubbles, until you got a nice, nice frothy mix, and you can push your paper down into those bubbles as well. So as you're blowing bubbles, when you get a little nice stack of bubbles just up above your bowl, you're going to sort of press your paper into it, and it's going to get some bubbles on there. And then those bubbles are going to sort of pop, and they're going to leave sort of rings of color around on your paper. Whoa, you're overflowing. You look like a mad scientist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> press your paper down into them. Smush those bubbles. So Amelia's got some on her paper there. Okay. If your color isn't really showing up with your bubbles, maybe you need to add in a little bit more food coloring. You want to try blue now? So have fun. Experiment. Save your papers because we're going to use those papers to do a drawing and painting on once you're done with them. So make a couple of papers. Those are going to be our sort of bubbly background. So here's one of our dried bubble paintings. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this as a background for a drawing. 
Um, if you want to do more bubble paintings or you want to watch another video about bubble paintings, I actually took this assignment from another art teacher um, named Cassie Stevens. Um, she's got a YouTube channel. She does amazing stuff, really fun stuff. Um, she did a video about bubble painting and I definitely used her lesson and learned from her. So you can check that out too. I'm going to put the link below here in my um, description box so that if you want to check that out, you can look at her video too. So thanks to her for sharing and I hope you guys have fun making your bubble paintings. And I'm going to post a picture of my drawing over the top of this when I'm done. Have fun. Bye.